came from a play called by William Shakespeare, lived, as a matter of fact, from 1564 to 1616. So the Middle English, or whatever they call it, is a bit hard to understand. Apologies. The play is a tragedy about family pressures, rejected love, madness, and procrastination. Hamlet is the Prince of Denmark. Hamlet suspects his father, the king, was murdered. Because as soon as he died, Hamlet's uncle married the queen, Hamlet's mom, and took over the throne. To complicate things, Hamlet accidentally kills his girlfriend, Ophelia's dad, and flees to England for a short time. While he's away, Ophelia drowns herself. Scene five opens in the graveyard. Two peasants are digging a grave broken. Hamlet is just back from England with his friend Horatio and doesn't know his girlfriend is dead. They meet the grave digger and joke about life and death. These scenes are comic relief, lightening the tension before Hamlet realizes that Ophelia is dead, which drives him over the edge to kill everyone and himself. And, without further ado, to show to be buried in Christian burial that willfully seeks her own salvation, I tell thee she is, and therefore make her grave straight. The crowner hath sat on her, and finds it Christian burial. How could that be, unless she drowned herself with her own self-defense? <laughs> Why? Tis found so. It must be, say, a fondando. Can it be us? Or who knows the point? Well, I drown myself wittingly, it argues an act. And an act hath three branches. It is to act, to do, and to perform. There you go, she drowned herself wittingly. Nay, but here are you, Goodman Delver. Come my life. It lies the water, good. It's just the mind. The man goes to his water and drown himself. It is will he, nil he, he goes. Mark you that. But if the water come to him and drown him, he drowns not himself. Ergo, he is, he is not guilty of his own death. Shortens not his own life. But is this the law? Aye, Mary, is it? Coroner's quest law. Will you have the truth on it? If this had not been a gentlewoman, she would have been buried out of Christian burial. Why, there thou sayest, and the more pity that great folk should have countenance in this world to drown or hang themselves. More than they are even Christian. Come, my spade, there is no ancient gentleman but gardeners, ditchers, and grave makers. They hold up Adam's profession. Was he a gentleman? Always the first that ever bore arms. Why? He had none. What? Art thou a heathen? How dost thou understand the scripture? The scripture says, how to dig? Could he dig without arms? I'll put another question to thee. Thou answerest me not to the purpose. Confess thyself. Go to. What is he that built stronger than either the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter? The gallows maker. For that frame outlives a thousand tenants. I like thy wood well, in good faith. The gallows does well, but how does it well? It does well to those that do ill. Now thou dost say ill to say the gallows is built stronger than the church. Ergo, the gallows may do well to thee. Do it again, come. Who builds stronger than a mason? A shipwright or a carpenter. Ah, oh, tell me that and a yoke. Mary, now I can tell. To it, mass, I cannot tell. We now see Hamlet and Horatio approaching at a distance. Could your live brains know more about it, for your dull ass will not mend his face with beating. And when you are asked this question next, say, a oh, grave maker. The houses that he makes last till doomsday. 
Go, get thee to Yopin. Fetch me a stew of liquor. The first clown now goes wants to dig somewhere else while singing. And you, what I did know, did know me, thought it was very sweet. Oh, in front of the time for a maybe alone, thought it was nothing of me. La 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 la, digging tongues. La 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 la. hath made it in him a property of easiness, my lord Hamlet. Is he in so a hand of little employment at the daintier sense? What aid for the stealing steps hath clawed me in his clutch, and hath shipped me until the land as if I had never been such. Dost thou take it for? For no man, sir. What woman, 
men. For no neither. Who is to be buried in it? One that was once a woman, sir, but rest her soul, she's dead. How absolute the knave is. We must speak by the card, or equal vocation will undo us. By the Lord, Horatio, these three years I've taken note of it. The age has grown so thick that the toe of the peasant comes so near the heel of the courtier. He gals his kind. How long has thou been a grave maker? Of all the days of the year, I came it to it that day that our last king handed over came for and brought. How long is that since? But don't you tell that? Every fool can tell that. It was the very day that young Hamlet was born, he that was mad and sent him to Canada. Ay, Mary, why was he sent to Canada? What, because he was mad, and shall recover his wits there, or, if I do not, he's no great matter there. Why? We'll not be seen in him there. There the men are as mad as he. <laughs> How can he mad? Both in with losing his wits. Upon my ground? Why, here in Denmark. I've been sexting here, man and boy, thirty years. How long will a man lie in the earth here he rot? Faith, if I be not rotten before I die, as we have many poppy corpses nowadays, that will scarce hold the knave. He will last you some eight year or nine year. A tanner will last you nine year. Why, he more than another. What, sir, his head point is so tanned with his trade that I will keep out water a great while, and your water is a sore decayer of your dead body. Here's the skull now. This skull is laying in the air three and twenty years. Whose was it? A wash and mad fellow's was, who do you think it was? I know not. Nay, a pistol is on him for a mad rogue. I bought a flag and a broidish on my head once. This same skull was Yorick's skull, the king's jester. This? Hear yeah, that? Let me see. Alas, uh, alas, poor York. I know him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, the most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times, and now how abhorred in my imagination it is. My gorge rises at it. Here hung those lips that I have kissed, I know not how oft. Where be your jibes now, your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar? Not one now, to mock your own grinning. Quite can't fallen. Don't get me to our lady's chamber and tell her. Let her paint an inch thick to this favour she must come and make her laugh at that pretty. Horatio, tell me one thing. What's that, my lord? Dost thou think Alexander the Great looked to this fashion of the earth? In so. It smelt so pot! In so, my lord. To what base uses we may return, Horatio? Why, maiden, ought imagination trace the noble dust of Alexander? Can you find it stopping the bottom in the hole? Were to consider too curiously to consider so? No, faith, not a jot, but to follow him thither with modesty enough and likely to lead it, as thus Alexander died, Alexander was buried, Alexander returned to dust, the dust is earth, of earth we make loam, and why of that loam whereto he was converted? Might they stop a beer barrel? Imperial Caesar, dead and turned to clay. Might stop a hole to keep the wind away. Oh, that, that earth which kept the world in all. Should patch a wall to expel the winter's flaw. 
but soft, but soft aside, here comes the king!